The motto of this video is to study the next topic of the chapter of continuity and differentiability. The topic's name is Lagrange's mean value theorem or Lagrange's mean value theorem. In the previous videos, we have talked a lot of topics about the chapter of differentiability and continuity and the previous topic was Rolle's theorem. This topic is Lagrange's means value theorem. Let's see how the theorem is different from Rolle's theorem and what is the statement of this theorem. So according to the statement, we have fx as a function. So fx is given to us a function. It is defined on the interval of a, b and it is defined such that two conditions are there. The first is that fx is continuous, the second is fx is differentiable. And what is important is not only that it is continuous and differentiable, but in what interval it is continuous? In the closed interval ab. In what interval it is differentiable? In the open interval ab. Now if you have watched the videos on Rolle's theorem, you might know that these two conditions were also there in the case of Rolle's theorem too. There was also a third condition in case of Rolle's theorem that is f of a is equal to f of b. But in case of Lagrange's means value theorem, there is no third condition as such. These two conditions if satisfied, then according to the Lagrange's means value theorem, what will happen? Then there will exist a real number c which again belongs to the interval of a, b and the formulation is such that f dash c is equal to f of b minus f of a upon b minus a. Learn the difference between the Rolle's theorem and Lagrange's means value theorem. In Rolle's theorem, the third condition was there that f of b is equal to f of a. That is why where if this formula was applicable in Rolle's theorem, this would have automatically become 0. And if this would have become 0, f dash c is equal to 0, which was in Rolle's theorem. So basically the application of mean value theorem is nonetheless the same but the statement is different and you have to know the difference. According to this video we have started this statement but in the next video we will be understanding the geometrical interpretation of Lagrange's means value theorem.